Hey, kindergarten friends, it's me, Mr. C, and I am here with our friend, Mr. L, and he wanted me to share a story about a time where there was a problem and he had to come up with a solution. And he did it by working with friends and neighbors and having a conversation. They listened to what each other had to say and they came up with ideas that they shared in and they decided what was going to be the best solution. So, the way that Mr. L told his story was on what is called a record, and I will show it to you over here. When I was a little boy, we listened to stories and music on a record, or sometimes we call it a vinyl. And this is pretty old and it's gonna be kind of scratchy when we listen to it, but you're gonna to get to listen to Mr. L's voice and that of his friends. When they read you Mr. L's story, Lovely Lemon Lollies. So let's see how Mr. L invented something that you all know and use, that you eat, and how that was invented. Let's remember Mr. L's lovely lemon lollipops begin with what sound? L. Remember, not L, it's L. We want to catch that uh at the end, so we only say L. Lovely lemon lollies. So I'm going to set my book here and get it ready to go. Look at that. I have an autograph. This is from the person who helped Mr. L write the story, Elaine Wyman. And here's our title page, Lovely Lemon Nollies. It's written by Elaine Rice. Also, her last name is now Wyman. And Rita Friedman. Okay, let's find out how Mr. L invented something that we all use. I'm gonna go back to my record player. So you can see me started. Again, it's gonna be a little scratchy because it's kind of old, but you're gonna to get to hear Mr. L's voice and those of his friends. Here we go. Mr. L's lovely lemon lollies. Let's read along with Mr. L. This is a lovely little story about lovely lemon lollies. Let's look and listen. Long ago, Mr. L lived on Lolly Lane. Lolly Lane was named for Mr. L. The people living on Lolly Lane Love Mr. L. Mm. Mr. L. Mr. L loved to make lemon lollies. He made lots and lots of lollies. He made large lemon lollies. He made little lemon lollies. Soon, Lemon Lollies filled all of Mr. L's house. Mr. L did not stop making Lemon Lollies. Lemon Lollies leaped out of his windows. Lemon Lollies leaped out of his doors. Love the leaping lemon lollies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They walked on Lolly Lane and crutched. Their feet landed on lemon lollies. One day, a strange Thing happened on Lolly Lane. Little Lady Larkbird was rushed to the hospital. The people on Lolly Lane wondered what was wrong. Mm -hmm. The doctor said, Lady Larkbird is very tired. She has been sitting on an egg for days and days. The egg won't hatch. What can it be? Oh, oh, what can it be? The people on Lolly Lane were upset. They called the Lolly Lane Lookers. The Lolly 
Holly Lane Records took a long ladder. They climbed up the long ladder. They looked in Lady Lockwood's nest. The Lolly Lane Lookers lifted the egg. Each of them looked at the egg carefully. Guess what they discovered? Lady Lockwood's egg was not an egg at all. The egg was oh, a little lemon lolly. Little lemon lollies do not hatch. The lolly lane lookers wrote a long report. The case of the unhatchable egg was solved. A little lemon lolly had leaped into the nest. Poor Mr. L felt terrible. Many days went by. Mr. L wouldn't make one lemon lolly. missed the leaping lollies. They asked Mr. L to make lemon lollies again. Yes. At last, Mr. L felt a little better. He made the largest lollies ever seen. Those large lollies leaped into Lolly Lane. <laughs> knocked the houses down. Mr. L was proud of his large lemon lollies. Until... What do you think's gonna happen? The day of the bowling league tournament. Lucky Loopy was bowling for Lolly Lane. He had one last ball to bowl. This was his chance to win. He had to knock down all ten bowling pins. Lucky Loopy lifted the bowling ball. Mr. L looked at the ball. It looked strange. Lucky Loopy lifted his arm. He moved down the alley and let the ball go! ball broke. The Lolly Lane people tried to help Lucky. They called the Lolly Lane Lookers. The Lolly Lane Lookers picked up the pieces. Put something on every lolly. 
Then we will know that lollies are only for licking. What can we put on the lollies? Ask Mr. L. Just then, Lady Larkbird flew by. She was carrying sticks for her nest. That was a fantastic story about people coming together to figure out a problem and solve it. Well, what do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? I love that story. <clears throat> What's that? Absolutely. I eat lollipops. Do you guys eat lollipops? Well, you can thank Mr. L and his friends for making that invention. They invented lollipop sticks to, invent, to make lollipops. All right, guys, that's it for now. I do have a few more stories with other friends coming up, uh, so check out those additional videos that I'll post throughout the week. I miss you guys, and hopefully you're keeping yourselves busy, not driving your parents too crazy, uh, reading every day, and at the same time, making sure you have some time for some fun. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Miss you, bye-bye.